Sometimes you can use the gi, sometimes you do without the gi. You're looking for a two hand under, okay? You can stack them if you want. You don't have to stack them. Uh, I like to get it here and get a knee up. Maybe act like I'm gonna pass here. So I'm looking to do a step this way. And then my back leg, I'm actually gonna shoot it straight next to them here. Now this leg does most of the work. It's going to reap all the way over. And now I got his back. Okay. Different things you can do with the gi. Sometimes it gets predictable. So that's why I do it without the gi usually. Because if I step here, I need to pass this underneath to this hand. And then when I go, I'm going to be right where I want to be. But this helps you to pull them into their guard. So that's why it's good to get that. <clears throat> but sometimes you don't have time for that. Okay? So you're getting here. Stack, stepping up, put a little pressure. Now if you want to pass the gi, you can, okay? You're gonna go here and here, and then lay your leg down, right into the back. Okay, from there you choke or arm bar, whatever your plans are. You wanna do a little quicker, actually go here, one, two, three, and there's your 